just said. What? Just said. Yeah. I keep forgetting to set up C-Tab. Just literally just press H. Well, set it up on a different TV. Yeah, it's not. H would be the medical menu by default. I think I did control Y. No. Uh, well, but yeah, that's on default, but that brings up the medical menu and the, um, and the, the C-Tab, and you just need to press escape to get to the medical menu. <coughs> yeah, but then you get from the way. Uh, each zone, each zone. Yeah, pretty much. <coughs> yeah. Silver Dragon, are you in the lake? No. I am most certainly not. <sighs> you sit on a throne of lies. Yes. Well, actually, I sit in a, uh, what the hell is this? It's a throne of lies, I already told you. Okay, that works. I'm fine with it. Just wanted that camp, so I'm gonna set up top. That means did, did what was that? I think it's a robot. A lot of guys, I guess. That's the robot. Oh god! Oh, where are we Japanese start? Bye bye. I'm hitting T to range and it just gives me a beep. Hmm. Weird. In this World War III, where's our AI for that thing? I don't fucking know. You are now locked on target. You free, feel free to murder. Okay, for a second. How high does that go? Or is that is that my own radio? Nope. What up, JFAX? What up, Toaster? Leadership elements are getting the brief over there. I know we're, uh... We're up here. So, uh... Blue Four is coming in with units, mechanized and armor to counter us, and then we're hitting two towns from the looks of things. Uh, I'm just gonna be playing security. Looks like they've got helicopter assets that can come from our west... So that's going to pretty much be our front to right the entire time. Cool. We're going to die. 
A lot. Oh, all my friends are in space right now. That's cool. Um, it's kind of weird, but okay. You see uh, Frisk up there. He is the... Uh, oh, he just went active. Now he's uh, he's running around. He's doing a loop-de-loop -loop around Silver. Now he's uh, arrested by Barbarian Viking. It's okay. And uh, yeah, that's what I call the TSB constellation in the stars. You just have to follow the Silver Dragon, wait for the Frisk to... You know, loop around and get in place. And now, uh, Barbarian is... Oh, okay, now the constellation's changing. Look at that. Now it's, uh, rested. It looks like it's made a little dipper. Oh, nope, it's changing again. Okay. Now we have, uh... I guess a, another little dipper? Just a little bit of a hook right here. Oh, it's changing again. Now we have a big dipper. Wow. That's, that's honestly incredible. That, uh, stars fly around like that. Isn't, isn't that just amazing? The more you know. The more you fucking know. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck me. I'm doing alright, Titan. Looks like they finished brief. I'm gonna put our uh, built-in radio in the Vict on 5-0 so we can listen into some of their shenanigans. Ah, uh, JFM. Uh, JFXM. JFAX. I never pronounced your name right. Happy birthday! Hope you had an awesome birthday, my man. I know they said the recon specialist had access to a Yabin. Looks like they're uh, putting that in the air now. She's also got two air to grounds, but <clears throat> she's mainly going to be used as a recon element. I debated taking the recon role, but then I saw we had BMB3s. I'm like, nah, nah, we're taking that instead. Looks like Barbarian, he landed. And uh, maybe he'll rejoin the constellation in a second. I don't know. Oh, he's in the little front gun. Little extra pew pew. So we're gonna basically charge through that position. Awesome. They're making a, looks like a formation for the armor group, which is uh, up there. I'm not sure if we have a tank section or a tank platoon, but it looks like... Uh, I think they're an entire uh, yeah. platoon, actually. Another, uh, another cool. uh, do I still offer true Zeus training? Yes, I do one-on-one -on -one to people on Patreon, but I haven't done one in um, about two months. But I don't. I don't give it as a, a thing in community anymore because it just it takes so long. But you know, to go over every single thing, it takes time. It takes a lot of time. So you know, we just have to go through everything because you got to talk about how do you do this, how do you do that? Because it's really just a bunch of situations and adapting. You know how the person Zeus is to those situations. Because everyone has their own style of Zeusing. It's just, how do you develop that? So you just kind of give them the basics and see how they do AOs and go from there. It's also about watching how people make AOs. You know, what do they make first? What do they make second? What do they make last? You know, where do they put their focus? Like, I met a Zeus that I was training that, uh... Performing some kind of oh, there's our Yavin. But, um... She would put everything down, and then the actual objective they were doing, she would, like, put down last. I thought that was really interesting. But that way, like, stuff that was closer to the player base, she would have spawned already. But as they went in, even to the final objective, 
the last section would be in, and it really helped with frames. However, if they wanted to do any advanced recon, it didn't really help. So now you gotta be considerate of all factors. What Patreon tier? It's it's the big boy. It's the last one label. I need to uh, update Patreon stuff. I've been saying that for months, but I actually need to. I'm thinking uh, I'll have a lot of time uh, this Thanksgiving break. So I'll chuck that on my list of things to do. It's just past two uh, weeks I've been hell for school. So I haven't had that much time to get everything done. Yeah, usually when you play a Zeus op, it's you have everything set and then you kind of, you know, have the 3D RTS view of, you know, you can counter the players or you can sacrifice stuff um, for player base enjoyment. And it, it depends on the type of mission, the type of Zeus you are, your style. Like, for example, Fridays right now, I will intentionally put stuff down uh, just to slow him down or just to give him something to shoot at. Uh, only when they start dividing into, like, squad levels and stuff, I will start decisively trying to cut them off and kill them. Just for the sake of slowing them down. Because I know in the two hours they're going to get the mission done. It's just how much of those two hours are we going to spend actually doing that mission. Now, if you take something like, um... The Vietnam stuff we're doing on Sundays right now, that's a little more, uh... I'm going to let them kind of get the foothold on me because they're the guerrilla faction and I'm the guy trying to hunt them down. But once I have an angle on them, I will push on that angle. But, you know, if they escape, I then can't, you know, use my third bird, bird uh, ah, bird's eye view, third person, yadi da to see that, oh, they've gone this way. I actually have to kind of track them, you know, with units and say, oh, okay, I saw some movement over there. I can move a few guys to investigate. Oh, there's the gunfire everyone goes or you know i can pick random targets to drop napalm on but you don't want to you don't want to actually hit them with that napalm because you know if you're walking around in the forest for 30 minutes only to get hit by an airstrike you know it's not really fun so you just got to balance it out Oh, Damon, I, I sometimes have the creativity of a rock. It's, it's all about working through it. And let's be honest, my first stops weren't any. Um, I'm not drunk. I didn't smoke right, anything. Uh, Did a guy just maps. jump out of the tank and disappear? Uh, or maybe, maybe something's in the air. Phase one. That was. Looks like we've got a couple of contacts on the way down. Interesting. Going to recon. Once we get past uh, Logi Phase One, we'll be hitting the main road, going straight down south uh, to uh, the circled area with the blue arrow. So we're going to be following along the so command. We have a logistics team. They're going to the set up right there. Um, they will then dismount uh, before the first vehicles. We'll blitz through the town, clear it as quickly as we can. Speed is of the key. Once we're through the town, we'll push on to Rally Point 2, which is further south, near Logi Phase 2 marker. We'll wait for Logi to move up to us, then swim. Uh, once Logi have moved up, we'll be pushing off from uh, Rally 2, uh, down to the small town of Hirschhoff. I probably can pronounce that completely wrong, so you know, never mind. It's the take the bridge marker, basically. Our objective on that is to take the bridge. Once we've secured the bridge, we'll then push on, push on and clear the logistic post um, at Ast. Uh, that's the objective today. Expect QRF, expect anti, uh, expect air, as there is an enemy airfield in the area. Uh, back in black, we'll be taking control of the Igla. Uh, BMP crew, obviously, just stick with us, uh, unless it's given specific orders otherwise. Any questions? Nah. Alright, just listening to the brief there. My original ops were really potatoes bad. compared to what I make now. The only one no that on I would moment. say is an exception was the trump wall but that's what made me popular in the first place but that one was such poorly such oh boy. badly executed like i remade that op about a year ago and it was so much better but i, I don't think i ever even released that mission no we we released that mission like six months later because i was so behind on video uploads <laughs> 
Yes. Of course, that one doesn't get famous. Why? It's necessary. Not gonna lie, I think in terms of YouTube and Twitch, I've hit my peak. It tastes good. Yeah. So I'm just riding it out, playing stocks, making my money that way. It's a good life. I just gotta finish school, and then we're good. <laughs> and we can keep doing this, you know? Keep having fun. Yeah, Nemesis, right? Life. But, Damon, having creativity for Arma really just comes when with playing video games, I'd say, or like looking up historical information, or just doing whatever interests you. The real beauty about Zeusing is you can literally make anything, and as long as you have a little know-how, you can make it work. Oh, and 40 hours of testing. You can't forget the 40 hours of testing. I say that as a joke, but at least for this weekend's ops, the op we played today that I Zeus, that one had a bit of testing, at least for all the custom caverns. Um, the ones we'll see not on Saturday, because Saturday I'm taking off to spend time with Blood Wayne. Uh, Sunday, the, uh, the Vietnam op had a lot of testing. Uh, I need to do some testing for the Monday op I have prepped for some Swedish stuff. Uh, I gotta test some uh, laser-guided ordnance to see if there is even a need for a JTAG. And then I need to uh, build Far Cry tonight or tomorrow. But we also have uh, Warcraft 3 after this, so... Good stuff like that. Always 40 hours, never more, always less. <laughs> Oh, Jay, did I hit you with an RPG? Oops. Not really oops, but, you know, wink. Yeah, Zeusine, exactly. It's it's all about just making sure the players have a good time, because you're, you're essentially a DM in D&D, or, or Dungeon Master, just making sure your players have a good time. It's okay to kill them, but within reason. Like, for example, the, the Vix pushing ahead of their infantry screens today. Full, full-on dunk. One would think so. But, you know, at the same time, you have to make sure that they have more Vix that they can bring in. There's multiple ways they could have done that. There were the spawns at base. But, you know, there are also some good times where they had the infantry screen and they had everything working for them. And I made sure to highlight that in the actual op. Uh, especially the debrief. The town the southwest looks like. Treating we're doing Far Cry on Sunday. Uh, I've got three more Far Cry ops planned to kind of make an escape. And then I'm working on another tier three op idea. I might blend it with a campaign, but... I don't know yet. We'll find out. we find out. It's one of those topics where I'm debating, because really it's it's whatever we can do. I'm really, really leaning towards making an SG team out of the T3, so like SG4, SG7. Any of the bunkers, or a specific bunker? The one, uh, you see the one at the corner of um, Area 1? Eyes on. Yeah, yeah, that'll be the one we want dunked as quickly as possible. The tank Loading HG. Cool. The tank should deal with it, but if they don't, obviously, yeah. like I say, just yeah. dunk it as quickly as you can. We're then, once we get down to the Bravo RP1, we're going to switch west. Alpha will follow, uh, we'll stick with the armored platoon, and we're going to clear the town quickly, while Bravo hold our, um, hold our south. So this is all recon already marking stuff? And then we'll continue with the uh, plan I've already uh, given you guys. Cool. So I'm just switching the uh, second cannon on the right right here to HG. This one still has AP for tanks, but yeah, let's see what we can put out this. Yeah, don't pull a loot and don't mortar your players for the sake of your viewer base, you know? He doesn't even do arm anymore. He hasn't touched it in like a year and a half, almost two years, so whatever. Yeah, the drone's already flown over it. It looks pretty clear. Okay. Yeah, ready for the Immersive reinsert? What do you mean? Did I accidentally say that? I didn't mean to say that. In Germany? Or Swedish? Swedish for Sweden. Yeah, obliterating the Swedish forces, yeah. Oh, that for immersive reinsert. I don't. There's a lot of ways you can do reinserts. I can't really think of a way to make it immersive, but. 
I guess the quickest way to do reinserts is to give the player base a, uh, a reinsert vehicle, which is basically like a truck that you tie a respawn point to. That way, when they spawn in, they spawn next to or in the truck. But, you know, if that vehicle goes kablooey, then player base loses its uh, respawn, you know? Yeah, oftentimes it's just bringing in the players via air. Oh, mod idea, fair. I mean, the uh, team lead didn't even get a grenade launcher, so this guy does this. Hello. I'm team lead. Oh, I guess you are team lead. Never mind. So, yeah, you do have a Ran an op a couple days ago, and then I played the new COD Modern Warfare campaign and shit. You'd think they copied my concept and execution yeah, to a point. Cack! Yeah. I guess now you know where to get your uh, grenade. The ground. I've copied a few Call of Duty op concepts in the past. Wait, We're moving out in a sec, guys. Thank you for your patience. I think uh, I have this and uh, Skelly just gonna have a good old. But they make for uh, they make for fun ops. Mm -hmm. Well, we gave the drone op time to go do his thing. Exactly. We'll see whether you know how long the plan you know lasts. But <laughs> <laughs> which one's Alpha? Check, uh, check me. Yeah, Alpha. We're in the first uh, BMP near the top of the hill. What do you need, bud? Okay. Keeps together strong. This is Lachi on 5 0. Yeah, we do have two frontal uh, 762 turrets that are mounted coaxial. Uh, what? Uh, uh, yeah, we're full, I think, mate. Yeah. What's up, well, there should be an extra BMP. Or a transport station, at least. Not Alpha. Recognize the company commander to tank. Put him commander. Might have to hoop it. I do. No, there's no style. Pick for reinserts, worst comes to worst, is that a. Or they can put uh. two actual in the tanks. Which shop you mean? Uh, yeah, the one I got insta dumped yeah. on, right? That one's Let's funny. Let's do this, guys! Literally take one step and just get shot dead. And I'm like, oh, okay! Oh, Abraham, I guess I'm the, the bitch uh, in the mission then. The one guy that like is all hyped for the op and then takes a step in the AO and just gets down. Yes or no? I love being the comic relief. No, you're fine. Okay. I'll be jumping out as I'm taking command of the assault squad. Uh, back. Who have you got on your side? I think we're gonna need one other zoom to the team is slash. Yeah, I'll take the AR. Let's go AO fits. Turn in then. So we got a camera right there, a few sights. Someone's in the command seat. You know, IRL, these things are actually really cramped, but they're also really cool. I don't know what this dial means. So the, oh, that's where yeah, my Vic's pointing. Oh, that's. Order, uh, yeah, to the front. I do know Armor's what that dial you're means. Sure take the lead and we'll be following along. Do I have any actual NVGs? No, I just have day and white hot and black hot. Okay. I'll put a mechanized ground. I'm gonna play this on black hot. Go ahead. Uh, my driver just wants to know what's the. Uh, Column order gonna be is it gonna be tanks first and then us? Tanks oh, first. we have a shell cut too. Nice. Yeah, tanks will take lead. So when the tanks start rolling out, you follow them behind. Rob, yeah, we're following it first and the tanks. Copy. They're not our targets. The enemy are. Printing? Fuck it. Turn him uh, back out. Osbert, uh, can you speak real fast? Oh, okay, you, you're good. I thought it was your microphone. Hey, the Vic in front of us just dropped one of their AKs, and we just ran it over. Rip. <laughs> Convoy. Convoy, hold. Over, right, just to confirm, you are on 50, yeah? Turn him back in. Barry, 240. No eyes. Should we just continue? No, uh, you've been told to hold. Talking to. Mm. 
That was quick. Tracers, I think, uh, come in for the northwest. I got eyes on some sort of thermal bearing 239. Prepare to engage. Stand by to engage or engage? IB crews, try not to get in the way of the armor. Get You're clear contact. to engage. Engaging. To improve its contact. Vehicle, continue moving. So 113 and some infantry around it. Hey, Brim, I'll pass that up. Uh, what bearing was that, Leroy? 247 for my pause. What do you want me to go? Just Apple hold down, you. be advised, we saw a uh, M113 and infantry. This is a two life op, by the way. What up, man? Copy. Pass on to us, Thanks if you can. They're on 5 5. Hey, Brim. Yep, yeah, I'm seeing other shit cook off. I got no eyes on any additional targets. Area one driver, but at the moment it seems we're a little bit stalled. Go ahead and push up to the next tree line. That's where Bravo and the rest of the tanks are. Skelly won't be Ow! Amazing. You know, maybe pushing up past the tanks was a bad idea, but I'm not going to say anything. Food for thought! Just, uh... This is two life, so I'm gonna wait to see if anyone actually like tries to pick us up, but I doubt it. We only have a three minute bleed out timer anyway. Well, God gave us Liru a BMP3 and God taketh it away. So how's everyone's day? I'm bleeding out in an open field from the looks of C-Tab. Just, uh, dying. I, I saw a cooking off tank on thermal and that shell came from the left of it, so probably at a weird angle. There's the tank shooting at something else, and you can hear it in the background. Apparently I'm fucked. He's had 22 wounds on one leg, 21 on the other, 18 on something, 14 or 15 on something else. Just turn to kick my neck. Well, it's great to hear that you're uh, doing well, Aaron. I'm uh, I'm bleeding out right now, but hey, maybe I'll see you on the other side. I hear the other BMP, though. I hope that's doing okay. Oh, there, there we all go. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Lamau, we're all dead. Hey, look, another BMP! Okay, maybe we should be speedy boys. Woo! Yeah, driver, this time, please don't, uh, please don't stop. 
too much. Obviously, if I call halt, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, when I say move, <laughs> another BMP. <laughs> also, please uh, keep in mind. Yes. Uh, Way you stop because we can, uh, for good. Uh, thirty seconds to a So there goes one of Liru's lives, and it only took. We spent yep. more time in brief than in the AO. Oh, the driver's not even over here. Aw, oh, shit. Here we go again. Alright, now we're one life, boys. It's gonna be great. No, I don't know where he is. Oh, I think he's AFK. Talking about me. No, I'll... Right side. Higher. I guess I can drive for now. Yeah, take driver's slot, let me get back here then. I'll take command slot. Alright. Alright, tell me when to head up. Yeah, me back. Go for it. Aw, oh, shit, here we go again. A couple more guys dead. Let's see how far we get this time. Yeah, hold, hold, hold. Our driver's literally just died. Turn us around and go past. Uh, yeah, I'm going back right now. This thing's pointless to drive all the way in without him when we're literally just here. So, we drove up to a friendly tank from the enemy direction. Well, um, we'll be back with Warcraft in, uh, two hours and 20 minutes. There's, there's not really much left here to, uh, to stream. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna respawn. All right, for the record, who is the driver? He's still in there. Iron. That was Frisk. Yeah. Why the fuck would you drive through a forest and then go up to a friendly tank from where enemy fire is coming from and be... expect to not get shot? Like, that was to dumb. To be fair to him, he was just swinging around to go pick the guy up. Yes, but you don't drive through a fucking forest... 
and then go up the main route where but, our tank is like but why would our tank engage a bmp when we're fighting swedish forces? because it's on thermals because we don't have night vision on the gunner optics so if something charges us from the enemy direction we're gonna dunk you so really no, that sorry. was just stupid i disagree that was a fucking retarded move i'm just saying well, it's also retarded that you keep going inside chat, so maybe not do that, too. Yes, sir, Mr. Liru, sir. Fuck off my server. What uh, the fuck? Ah. Peace.